Hi guys, I'm Cassidy and today we are going to be making the sausage mushroom lasagna paired with our uh, 2016 Mad Crush. This pairing is perfect for each other. Our Grenache Tempranillo Moved blend screams lasagna. It has similar characteristics and this is pretty easy food friendly wine so it works really well with this recipe. It actually calls for some Mad Crush in it. It's kind of always fun to pair with the wine that you have in the dish. Mad Crush, as many of you know, was our first wine that we made back in 2008. It kind of holds a special place in our hearts so we wanted to pair a recipe and show you guys what you can do at home. Most of the ingredients you should have at home, you might need to go to the store to grab a couple, but it's pretty easy. It just calls for two jars of marinara sauce, um, some dried Italian seasoning, baby oil mushrooms, spicy Italian sausage, uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then two different kinds of cheeses. You're gonna want ricotta, and then the grated Italian cheese blend that you just find in the cheese aisle. You'll need a large onion, and then a couple cloves of garlic. And then the last ingredient, the most important one, is you're gonna need a cup of Mad Crush. So make sure you have your bottle handy. First, we're gonna start by prepping our ingredients. So we're gonna cut the mushrooms, the onion, and the garlic. You can buy just the sliced ones if you don't wanna cut them yourself, that's totally fine. Next, we're gonna do the garlic. So this calls for about three cloves of garlic. And then you just wanna finely chop them. And then the next thing we're gonna do is chop the onion. So this is just one large onion. It can be yellow, white, whatever you have in your kitchen. And then you're just gonna finely chop this one as well. When you start crying while chopping onions is uh, wine really helps. So just take a couple sips. See? And so you might have to drink the whole glass to get through this phase, but that's fine. While you're chopping vegetables, you want to um, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So now that we just finished cutting all of our vegetables, we're going to go and saute. You're going to want to add two tablespoons of olive oil to the pot. And then you're going to saute just right now the mushrooms and onions together about six minutes just so they soften and the mushrooms start to brown a little bit. Six minutes gives you plenty of time to drink a glass of wine. And then one more cup of wine. And one more. There's no right or wrong when adding wine. Add what you feel. It's almost time to add the garlic. It's been about six minutes and it should look like this. Some of the mushrooms have started to brown. You can see that um, it's very translucent with the onions and everything is softened very nicely. You're still gonna be cooking um, it with the garlic, so don't wanna cook it too much. So now we're gonna add our garlic. It's gonna smell very nice in here. And then you're gonna add your Mad Crush, the best part. Right. So now it's about time to add the Mad Crush. So you're gonna do about a cup, which it's Seems like about a cup. Mm. And then you're just gonna let this um, cook until there's really no more liquid. So um, about probably six more minutes. Just gonna keep an eye on it. So now we're gonna add our sausage to this. And then we're gonna break it up while everything else is breaking down. So you can kind of just, I like to break it apart on this and just kind of put it in little balls so it's easier to break. If you don't wanna use the spicy one, you can use a normal one. If you're vegan, feel free to use a plant-based or you can just take out the sausage altogether. This recipe is very easy to kind of make it how you prefer. While the um, wine is reducing and you won't see any more liquid, you're gonna add your Italian spice seasoning. Two to three tablespoons, so kind of just eyeball it. I'm using a teaspoon, so. And then even if you wanna bring up the spice a little bit, feel free to add like crushed red pepper flakes um, if you want it to be more spicy. 
So you see how most of the wine has left, so there's not much liquid left besides some of the sausage juices. So this is about done. All the wine is evaporated and is soaked into the dish. So we can actually take this off the burner and start building our lasagna now. So now that we've let the wine evaporate and everything's sauteed, we're gonna remove it from the stove and we're gonna start building our lasagna. For the lasagna, it'll just require a nine by 13 dish. So this one is perfect for it. You're just gonna start layering it. So we're gonna start with some marinara sauce on the bottom. And then we're gonna place our uh, lasagna sheets. So the no bake ones just require less step of having to boil them before. So um, you can just get them at the store and then you're just gonna layer them. They can overlap and then if there's some on the edges, that's totally fine. You're gonna do about four. And I'm just eyeballing everything, but we have measuring cups if you at home, but it's pretty much just covering the lasagna. After you layered the first part, you're gonna add some more marinara sauce, about a cup over this. So really just, you just want it to be kind of soaked in marinara. You have, that's why you have two jars. We're gonna do multiple layers. And then we're gonna put some ricotta cheese. So about a third of a cup and then you just kind of dollop it around. And then um, we're gonna do the cheese blend. So this is gonna be about a cup. This one you kind of just wanna like drench it on. Um, that's why we got two bags. And then we're gonna add our sausage mixture. And then you're gonna repeat this step um, two more times. So with the noodles and then the sauce and then the cheese and then the sausage mixture. So two more times we're gonna do that and then we're gonna pop our lasagna in the oven. All right, so um, your lasagna now has cooled for about 15 minutes. Um, you can always cool it for longer if you're expecting people or um, you don't want kids or you want to burn their tongue. Now we're just gonna cut it. It will be a little bit uh, soupy, so just be warned. Look at that. All the layers of sausage, onion, cheese. You can top it too, like with Parmesan cheese. Personally, I just like so a little bit of black ground pepper on the top maybe a little bit of salt. Our mad crush lasagna, cause of course we use mad crush to make it. And let's see how it is. Mm. That's such a beautiful pairing all of the umami from the mushrooms and the spicy Italian sausage with the cheese and the tomatoes. This dish is a home run.